Okay, so I suppose I should put this caveat at the beginning of every one of my videos. Look, I don't know if George Zimmerman is guilty or not. I don't know if he lied through this whole thing right from the beginning or not. I don't know that, right? So, it's people think it's like a Team A and Team B, like I'm on Team A, Team Zimmerman or something. Uh, I'm not. It, if he's guilty, it really changes nothing I've said about this case. An example of that would be the punks versus coons, right? No amount of George Zimmerman guilt is going to change the fact that that is just an unintelligible word at the of a recording that even the FBI couldn't figure out, okay? That's not going to change that. So let us move forth with all my videos with that in mind. Now this one I find interesting. If we take George Zimmerman's the... Uh, event log start time at 709 and 34 seconds and we take Trayvon Martin's cell phone records and we take DD's interview and we put them all together we find something rather interesting that may change your mind one way or another on this case depending on what you believe to be the details about this case so we'll get to that so we'll plug this in now we know that Trayvon according to DD is hanging around the mailbox area which is right there next to the clubhouse and she says that Trayvon tells her that he's gonna start walking away from that area and when he does but before he does the phone line disconnects so let us take that time we know of that disconnection which is between 7-11-01 and 7-11 and 59 seconds and plug it in right before Zimmerman states yeah now he's coming towards me so let us imagine that that's, that there's some uh, this is a speculation you see I don't know exactly when but given what Dee Dee said compared to when he actually starts walking perhaps it was that movement that Trayvon made that made his phone disconnect for whatever reason okay so right before Zimmerman states yeah now he's coming towards me and we take that time compared to George Zimmerman's uh, compared to the Seminole County Sheriff time and we see the discrepancy and we just add in the seconds as they go along and we'll see what we'll see now apparently Trayvon and Dee Dee are disconnected by the time Trayvon starts walking towards George Zimmerman's truck passes George Zimmerman's truck and is uh, in the area near where that east-west sidewalk is somewhere around there perhaps between there and Twin Trees Lane but it's past George Zimmerman's truck Dee Dee says in her interview that they reconnect and comparing on the phone uh, the phone records we know that that call reconnects then anywhere between 712 and 712 and 59 seconds so then we can see how close we are here. She says on that phone call that George is in his car behind Trayvon now. So we know that Trayvon has passed George. And that Trayvon states he's going to run now from the back because it's easier. Something to that effect. She says run to your father's house. He restates again that he's going to run from the back because it's easier. Well, look at how close we are then now to where George states, shit, Trayvon is running. Moving on then, we'll move quickly down to the end of the conversation between George and dispatch. George calls and George, George's call between him and dispatch ends at 7.13 and 39 seconds and as we can see that would put Trayvon's T-Mobile time anywhere between 7.14 and 11 seconds to 7.15 and 9 seconds we know from the phone records that the phone call does not does in fact end anywhere between 7.15.01 and 7.15 and 59 seconds given that George and him were on the phone at 7.15 and 09 seconds we'll use the start time then at 7.15 and 10 seconds. Dee Dee says she heard words between the two exchanged 
Trayvon speaks first, asking George, Why are you following me for? She believes she hears George reply, What are you doing around here? She believes she hears Trayvon get pushed. She believes she hears the phone fall in the grass. And she believes she hears Trayvon say, Get off me. At this point, she yells for Trayvon a couple of times and gets no reply and states the phone line gets disconnected. If we apply a time of 15 seconds to that scenario this would be this would mean the line disconnected at 715 and 54 and 44 seconds okay 15 seconds minus that George then says call at 715 T-Mobile time this means that the two met anywhere between 715 and 10 seconds and 715 and 44 seconds T-Mobile time Anywhere between 1 to 34 seconds after George gets off his phone. Now I admit my first thought, given that if I am correct, it seems to me that Trayvon was waiting for George to get off his phone. If it is true, if it is true that... Uh, Trayvon ran down this area and George is hanging around this area and given the lighting conditions and our past scenarios that Trayvon may have run down this area it very well may be possible that Trayvon is hiding behind one of the fences hiding behind one of the bushes it is much darker than this because this is a, a, a flash from the camera it is much darker in this area Could it be possible that Trayvon was hiding behind this fence as George was hanging around this area? That's one of my scenarios I put forth a couple months ago. Could it be possible that Trayvon hears George on the phone? One of the scenarios that somebody put forth over at the treehouse was that perhaps Trayvon thought at first that George Zimmerman may have been an, a cop and so he ran at first around this corner hiding in the dark perhaps behind this first set of bushes here that would be this area here these are the bushes there's an air conditioner there go ahead and try to scroll up a little bit given how dark it was back there could be possible and that he assessed from that position that George was not was in fact not a cop he sees George walking around with a flashlight and on his phone hears that he is on the phone giving directions to where the cops ought to meet him waits for George to get off the phone and then confronts him within that one minute, uh, one second. What did we say? What was the number? One to 34 seconds after George gets off the phone. What does this mean then for George? Well, if George did in fact state that he walked from here, the T in the sidewalk, to the next street, as his father says, to get an address off of here and then made his way back to the truck over here the question is could he have done that within our time frame could he have walked down to here got an address and walked back and the scenario starts there within that 34 seconds If it's not possible, then that could be very well then a lie. Well, I'll leave you to the rest then.